Texas sheriff warns looters of exactly what will happen to them if they are caught. Brilliant Texas-style justice, Fort Bend County Sheriff, Troy Nels, stated how his residents are very friendly with the Second Amendment, giving a warning to potential looters to stay away. And what might happen to looters who try ransacking Fort Bend? Well, they just might end up in a body bag and quite frankly there's nothing wrong with that. Nels basically cautions the people not to prey on Fort Bend residents unless they want to be shot. My caution to the looters out there, those that want to rob our people that are suffering, you may want to stay out of Fort Bend County, because there's a possibility you could leave this county in a bag and reminds viewers that many residents are armed. This is pure brilliance and especially amazing because he does not care to be politically correct. Nels has a warning and he wants everyone to be very aware of it. His choice of words is perfect. Fox News was interviewing Sheriff Nels when they asked him what his county was doing about looters. The sheriff responded with strong words for any would-be looters trying to come into Fort Bend County. The sheriff responded, I've heard some horrific stories in Harris County and others, and I'll tell you right now the residents of Fort Bend County, they support the Second Amendment. Many of them are armed. There have been reports of people looting stores for non-survival items such as televisions. It's one thing to steal food and supplies to survive and feed your family, but if you're stealing televisions and DVD players, then you're not stealing to survive, you're just stealing. There have also been reports of people in Texas knocking on doors and pretending to be police or another authority. These people are then robbing the homes of flood victims. If someone is that much of a scoundrel that they prey upon victims of a major flood, then how could anyone feel bad if a fan of the Second Amendment fired a few shots and put someone down? Stealing from someone on a normal day isn't very nice. Stealing from someone who just lost everything to a major natural disaster is especially low on the moral totem pole. When these things happen in your neighborhood, then you're supposed to help people. That's what builds us as strong Americans and communities. When we're hit with a big tragedy, then we drop our political views and help each other as fellow Americans. Stealing from hurricane victims after they've lost everything isn't the worst reason someone could be shot. People have a right to defend their belongings, even if most of them are already ruined by the flood. Watch this video and let's see if the looters are surviving or just browsing like they're on a free shopping spree. What do we make of this video? Are they taking items for survival or just taking things for fun? Some people will criticize this by saying something like they shouldn't take anything at all because it's all stealing and the answer to that is this, during a natural disaster in which thousands of homes are destroyed and underwater, people are drowning, and tragedy is striking, it can be overlooked if someone takes some food to feed their family in a shelter. It's technically stealing, but stealing items of survival during the time of a natural disaster crisis is much different than stealing televisions during Hurricane Harvey. Just think about this, some of the food will be spoiled, thrown away, or already destroyed by the flood. It will literally go to waste if not consumed. Stealing electronics in the pouring rain is quite different. Another video shows two men each looting a flat screen TV in Hurricane Harvey. They allegedly stole the televisions from a store. It's pouring rain and one man drops his stolen TV. I don't know how well televisions hold up in the rain these days, but I can only imagine that the TVs no longer work. The combination of rain and dropped electronics doesn't seem like it will work when it's plugged in. Here's the Hurricane Harvey looting video for you to watch and make your own decision. What's your opinion? What was the point of stealing televisions during a storm? What were they doing? Using the TVs as umbrellas? How is that different from stealing food to feed a family of five? Stealing food and electronics are both theft, but one of the crimes can be overlooked in a time where thousands of people are suffering from a major loss. When Sheriff Nels issued his warning, it was to keep people like the TV looters out of his jurisdiction. Nels and the residents of Fort Bend have enough issues to worry about with Hurricane Harvey, so if any looters want to prey on his people, then they should bring their own body bag. Nels isn't playing around and wants every potential looter to understand one thing, people are armed and not afraid to shoot. 
Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.